Hi everyone, happy long weekend. Why do I think that everybody deserves it? I thought I'd check in with you guys because I'm gonna be doing something today that, I don't know, I think you might find some value in. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but the best way for me to learn is the hard way. And so after going through these two years to get my master's done, uh, I, I had a rude awakening, um, which is why I decided to kind of create this whole thing that's going to be a series of videos and a series of challenges or activities that you are more than welcome to do with me um, as, as I try to figure out this thing called health. So when I was in the thick of it, uh, I realized hindsight 2020 of course, that I do not do stress very well. Um, I'm great in the moment, but but boy, leading up to it and before I absolutely need to perform, I am a wreck. I, I, I end up being my most unhealthiest because you think that by you know, taking the time to do self self care or or take a break, that's taking you away from the thing that you're supposed to be doing and that your life depends on and you can't you can't take a second away. Um so maybe that's just me. Uh I hope it's not, but you know, you know, misery loves company. So uh I hope you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but I have a feeling you do. So uh, I am trying to start new habits and get into uh, a better state of mind uh, so that the next time I'm going through, well, to hell and back, uh, I might be just a little bit more resilient, a little bit more gentle on myself, and uh, a little more able to see the big picture. So the way that I thought I was going to do that today, um, and you know, it's all about the little steps. We always, we always don't give the little steps the credit that they deserve. Um, little steps lead to big changes. So don't forget about that. Um, I know we're all our own worst critics, so I'm telling you, the little things lead to big changes and you should give yourself credit for that. So you make little changes, good for you. Um, but if there are those times where you aren't uh, giving yourself the credit or you feel broken um, for whatever reason, uh, I thought we could do something. And, and I'm, I'm calling it the Phoenix Attitude Jar. Uh, and it's going to serve you in those moments that you feel like you are scorched earth, that you've been burnt down to the ground, you are a pile of ashes, and you've forgotten that you actually are a phoenix. Um, and, and your attitude just needs a little adjustment, a little perspective, because that's gonna give you that opportunity to rise. So I'm so excited. I had way too much fun at Michael's. Uh, if you guys, well, hopefully you guys do this with me. Um, so get down there and and uh, yeah, don't send me the bills because you're gonna spend too much money, but it's gonna be so much fun and you're gonna remember what it's like to be a kid and happy about things. And, and so I want you to give that yourself that time today or whenever you do this to enjoy crafting, enjoy, all the possibilities that this is going to help you survive. So I will do it step by step, give you a sense of what I got here and they're all going to be different um, and you're going to get a better sense of who I am I guess based on what I picked. So uh, you could do a bowl, you could do a big jar, you know like a big mason jar, um, but I got this really cool acrylic orange pitcher and it's very phoenixy. And oh, look, Phoenix colors, orange and red, yes. See, that's a good sign, that's an omen. This means this is like going good places. So I got this, I got, okay. I'm a tomboy a lot of the times and I'm all about, you know, rough and tumble and all that stuff, but a girl's gotta love some bling. So I got some, see that, they actually sparkle. So I got some, colorful rhinestones that stick and then I got some goldy kind of rose gold 
coppery kind. So I got those. Um, I got stickers. Okay, again, don't judge me. I feel like I'm gonna be saying that a lot today. Um, I got some really cool stickers. If you can see, I got some cool cocktails. Yeah, that doesn't work. I can't do it like the makeup tutorials. So you got some really cool drinks, you know, stickers. Um, and then I got some pride stickers, you know, gotta be all about the pride and pri plus all the pretty colors. Like, honest to God, this is awesome. So thank you for this occasion to use this. Uh, and then I got these really cool stickers. So take a look at that. You know, it kind of embodies me, I think. And then I got, if you can see, so this is actually a stack of little note cards and there's a bunch of them and a bunch of different colors. So I got those and I got a Sharpie in case I wanna write on the picture, you know, any words that these stickers somehow missed. Um, and, and that's gonna be useful for something else too. So you are gonna decorate this thing however you want. Um, I don't know if anybody went to Swish LA as a kid um, or, or tried to remain a kid because of Swish LA because at the end of your meal, you got this really cool treasure chest that came and I was so excited to pick a treat out of that um, little toy. And, and so hopefully you can design this so that you get excited. You get excited by the possibilities. And what I mean by that is you are going to take as many as you want of these and on each one of them, you are going to write things that remind you. You are a freaking phoenix. You may feel like charred ashes right now, but you are a phoenix and you can rise from those ashes. And as my mother always says, you know, it makes for a better story in the end. Uh, when, when bad things happen, it makes the success that much sweeter um, and and that much more fun to talk about. So, so you know, yeah, life brings you to like really weird, really awful times in your life, but um, you know you better than anybody else. You are the expert on you. So you're going to remind yourself with these little notes. You're going to write your best qualities that you don't even wanna tell people you want to be giving yourself credit for. You're gonna write your favorite sayings, quotations. You're gonna write your favorite goal in mind. You are gonna write whatever on each one of these uh, that, that will remind you in the depths of the darkness that you will see that light at the end of the tunnel. So these are gonna be these little reminders that you are going to reach in and pull out when you need it most. Okay, so that was the fun part, and oh my gosh, I had more fun than I thought that I would. Uh, it's so great to be crafting again. Um, the next part is the hard part uh, for all of those of you who, like me, are their toughest critics. So this is the part of the project where you have to be honest, and you have to give yourself credit, a lot of credit. Um, you can keep this Phoenix attitude, jar, pitcher, bowl, whatever you ended up using um, secret. You can put it out in the open. You can let people read them or not. Um, but uh, if it helps you to know that this is going to be private, uh, then, then let it be private so that you can be really honest about the things that you love, your, love about yourself. Um, and, and helps you remember that at the end of the day, in your hardest, hardest moments, you're only human. And, and there are gonna be days where you are going to have an amazing day and you're gonna get everything that you wanted to get done, done, and you're gonna do it with 
panache and sass and 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 ferocity and it'll be awesome there's gonna be some days where you are gonna get some of that stuff done and you're gonna feel you know like you're only focusing on the stuff that you didn't get done um but you know what you got some stuff done so that is awesome um but if you still struggle in those moments this is what this is for um and 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 then there's gonna be days where you don't get anything done you don't feel like you can do anything um and and those days might be your self-care days uh and and if i've learned anything and if you're one of those people who like me don't end up learning from other people's mistakes because you need to make your own that's okay i know the feeling um but but i found that in my most stressed state uh in those moments where you felt like you you can't you can't take a moment for yourself you you can't go for a walk and listen to music uh you you can't go grab a coffee with friends because that is a waste of time when you could be getting this thing that is super duper important done um and and everything else is just a luxury uh actually no those luxury moments uh when you are connecting with friends when you are doing things for yourself and and to make yourself feel good is actually going to put you in a better place to be more efficient um, when, when you really 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 need it and your life depends on it because we seem to have a lot of those so um, that's also why I thought it would be really interesting just to kind of come at this whole whatever this ends up being as uh, an epiphany moment that we are all human uh, I, I know I try to sound confident when when I'm talking about how to be healthy and the things you can be doing um, I'm only human I try I have I, I have ideas and things that I'd like to do and stick to doesn't always work out um, and and we gotta stop we've got to stop beating ourselves up about it um, and because uh, it gives you white hair and, and I know that's in, it just wouldn't look good on me. So, so this is a much better alternative. So you're gonna get all honest on this stuff and I'll check back with you in a few minutes. in there to shake it up so you don't remember where everything is or what color was written on so that you can be genuinely inspired hopefully or motivated um or or given that that flame that ferocity to attack the challenge that you're trying to get through which is the whole point of this so this is the phoenix attitude jar that is going to hopefully be a tool for you to remember even if you're scorched ash, you can rise from the ashes. And, and these little you know, reminders are going to help put your attitude in the right space to really make you soar. So I hope that that was you know, a good idea. I think so, I'm gonna use it. Um, and, and I know that it's weird that God knows how old any of us are, that we're too old to be crafting. Um, I beg to differ, uh, especially since I'm the daughter of two lawyers. I really think that tapping into the things we found fun as a child is really important as an adult. Um, it gives you, you know, some time to get out of your own head and focus on, you know, having fun. It's gonna put you in a much better space to, to deal with what life throws at you um and and life throws a lot at you so i hope that this helped i hope that you do it i really hope that you take pictures like i'm gonna do of your phoenix attitude jar whatever name you want to give it that really symbolizes your ability to use this as as a weapon in your arsenal of getting shit done and being that phoenix um, I hope you take a picture. I hope you hashtag it. I'm 
only human and there's gonna be a lot more activities that are coming your way that I'm gonna be doing with you uh, because we're only human and there's no perfect formula for health um, but there's little things that we can be doing that have big impacts uh, and we get a new day hopefully every day to to figure out how to do better than the day before so hope you have a great long weekend uh, and and I'm gonna try to you know get the little one a little excited about vacation time. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.